is going on guys this is kb and i'm back with another video in this video we are going to be continuing with what we were doing in the previous video so in the previous video we did question 2.1.1 up until question 2.1 1.3 so if you haven't watched the previous video i ask you to please go back to the previous video before continuing with this one and then you can come back to this video and then we will do question 2.2.1 up until question 2.2.2 okay so let us begin with question 2.2.1 so it says the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are so we are told that this is actually an arithmetic sequence. The first thing that should come to your mind, like immediately, you have to think that, okay, so an arithmetic sequence has a first common difference. So the first difference is common in an arithmetic sequence. That's what you should have in mind. Uh, and then the formulas you are given on the data sheet or the formula sheet, whatever you call it. Okay, and also, you need to remember that on the formulas we have um, unknowns we have a we have d and then we have n you need to know what those stand for okay okay so let us do this question right now question 2.1 point question 2.2.1 says calculate the value of the 15th term of the sequence it is worth five marks okay so let us begin with it okay so at this point we can't just uh, simply get our general formula of this um, of this sequence without first finding out what our a value is and what our first difference is because our sequence has a unknown term which is k as you can see so let us first solve for k and then we will continue from there okay so we know that the first difference is common and to find the first difference we subtract t1 from t2 and since it's common so t3 will also be t3 minus t2 will also be equal to t2 minus t1 since we said the first difference is common okay okay so let us substitute the values into this uh, equation so our t2 is k k plus 8 minus and then our t1 is 2k minus 7 and guys put your your terms in bracket especially when you have a negative here because the negative here changes the the sign which is inside the bracket okay so we have 2k minus 7 because if you don't include the negative then you will get the entire equation wrong okay so our t3 is 2k minus 1 and then minus this minus right here minus t2 which is k plus 8 okay so what we need to do now is to solve for k let us first start with the left hand side k plus 8 the negative multiplies into the bracket it will give us minus 2k negative times negative positive 7 okay and then we have our 2k minus 1 negative multiply the bracket it will give us negative k negative times positive will give us positive negative 8 negative 8 okay so at this point we need to group our light terms let us first start with the k and then negative 2k and then transpose the uh, the 2k to the other side it will also give us 2k 
it will give us 2k let me just cancel here okay so it will give us 2k and then transpose the negative k also to the other side it will give us positive k okay and this side we will be left with negative 1 and negative 8 and we also need to transpose the 8 to the other side so it will give us negative 8 and also transpose the positive 7 so it will give us negative 7 so at this point we need to solve for for k so we actually simplifying so negative 8 negative 1 minus 8 will give us negative 9 and then negative okay negative 8 and negative 7 will give us negative 15 okay so I'm just doing it step by step but you can just solve for it immediately if you want okay so this side negative 2k and negative 2k will give us negative 4k and then k plus k will give us 2k and then at this point negative 9 minus 15 will give us negative 24 and this side negative 4k plus 2k will give us negative 2k so we divide everything by negative 2 both sides by negative 2 okay so k will be because negative cancels negative and we'll be left with 12 so k is equals to 12 so at this point we haven't solved for the equation remember the equation says calculate the value of the 15th term of the sequence so now that we have uh, solved for k let us substitute the value of k back to the original sequence so that we have values instead of unknowns okay so the sequence goes like this 2k minus 7 2k minus 7 is the first term and then k plus 8 k plus 8 and then we have 2k minus 1 2k minus 1 so let us substitute 12 where there is k we put 12 12 plus 8 okay let us pull out our calculator 24 obviously minus 7 17 and this will give us 20 and this one will give us 23 okay so the question let's go back to the question so that we don't forget the question wants us to calculate the value of the 15 term of the sequence the value of the 15 term of the sequence so now we have we have our sequence in a uh, value form and not in unknown or variable form so we know that our a which is the first term is 17 and as we can see our constant difference is 3 because you are essentially adding 3 to get to the next term or you can just do it like this t2 minus t1 and get 20 or 17 rather 17 oh yeah I was right 20 20 minus 17 it will still give you 3 so our D is 3 okay so at this point we need to formulate our general term of this particular sequence so this formula is usually given on your question papers you need not to master it but you will see that when you do many past papers you will uh, eventually you know memorize it it will become second nature to you so tn 17 plus n 
minus 1 and then 3 so they want the value of the 15th term so we're gonna have 17 plus 15 minus 1 and then 3 okay so at this point we're gonna have 14 multiplied by 3 okay excuse me so 14 times 3 equals to 43 42 i mean plus 17 so the value of the 15th term is 59 therefore the value of the 15th term is equals to 59 so we have answered the question the question wanted us to calculate the value of the 15 term of the sequence so let us do the next question which is question 2.2.2 question 2.2 says calculate the sum of the first calculate the sum of the first 30 even terms of the sequence so the keywords are sum and first deity of even terms of the sequence okay so it, it didn't say the first deity terms of this sequence it just said the first uh, deity terms of the even terms of the sequence okay and this is question 2.2.2 so we know that our sequence goes like 17 20 23 let us write it down here 17 20 23 and since we said the common difference is 3 we are basically adding 3 we can just add more terms so that we get an idea so the next would be 26 29 uh, 32 and then 35 Okay, so let's go back to the question so that we don't make a mistake. It says calculate the value of the first 30 even terms. First 30 even terms. Calculate the sum of the first 30 even terms. So we know uh, what even means, right? Even means that when you divide it by 2, it will give you a whole number. When you divide a particular number by 2, it will give you a a whole number so when you divide an even number by two it should give you a whole number if it gives you a decimal or a fraction it's actually an odd number for example one is an odd number and two is an even number because when you divide it by two it will give you one but when you divide one by two it gives you what a decimal or fraction 0 0.5 so one three nine and so on are odd numbers and then two four six and so on are even numbers okay so this question wants the first 30 terms the first uh the first 30 terms of is it first first 30 terms or what the sum of the first the sum of the first 30 even terms okay yeah the sum of the first 30 even terms so let us find even terms in this particular uh, sequence as you can see 20 is even and 26 is even and 32 is even so we take those terms out and formulate a new uh, sequence out of them which comprises of even numbers okay so as long as you have three terms then you can uh, get the answer as long as you have three or more terms it, it should be fine because then you can find your a and your constant difference so our a in this sequence is 20 and our d will be t2 minus t1 
t1 will give us 6 so to get to 26 we add 6 and to get to 32 we add 6 so remember the question wanted the the sum of the first 30 even numbers so we know our sum formula is as follows actually you have two formulas so you just choose but in this case I would recommend that you use this particular one because we don't really know the last term okay so they want the first 30 terms of even numbers of the first of the even numbers okay 30 so in this case we are just substituting the values into the formula so our a is 20 and our n is 30 minus 1 and our d we said is 6 okay so we will have 15 and we'll have 40 and we'll have 29 6 and let us pull out our calculator 29 multiplied by 6 will give us 174 plus 40 214 all multiplied by 15 and that will give us 3 to 10 3210 3210 so the sum of the first 30 even terms is 3210 so what we had to do in this question we had to find the even terms and make a new sequence out of them so that we find the first 30 terms of the even numbers not of the original entire uh, sequence because this sequence is made up of even and odd number an odd number so both both even and odd numbers so the question specified that it wanted the sum of the first 30 even terms so we had to formulate a new sequence from the first sequence which is uh, comprised of only even numbers okay thank you guys for watching if this video has helped you please subscribe and i'll see you on the next video thank you